All right, guys, so we are back with mission number six, Invincible Fleet, another fantastic mission. Like I said, these get really good for Ace Combat 4. Let's listen into the briefing. All right, so remember we were hitting the fuel supply, so now they're stuck. And now we're going to take down the Agar Fleet. So just for the record, I love Invincible Fleet. It's a great mission, just a great shoot 'em up mission. Um, we could use the A-10 again, but I do want to spice it up. I do remember using the Mirage 2000 for this mission, actually. That's an interesting color scheme right there. We got the FIF, Federal Erosion Air Force. But I'm going to be honest, again, I just like the sort of more neutral color scheme. So we're going to go with that. And we're actually going to go with the uh, Harpoon. Or uh, not Harpoon. This would be the Exocet. Yeah, that's the Exocet. Uh missile. So the anti-ship missiles, and you'll see why in a second. Battleship Tanager sunk. Sorry, I just had to do it. But yeah, we're going to pick up the LASM. So now this is a long mission, so I'm probably only going to be able to fit one in, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. So another great soundtrack. And what I love about the Mirage 2000 is it's like, you just see this thing, it just, it's so maneuverable. Because it's got that Delta Wing design, it's so light. Alright, we got Aegis Class Raven. We got the, <laughs> the Battleship Tanager, which for those of you who play the Ace Combat 7 DLC, supposedly Matthias Taurus Salvation was the commander of that ship. Which, you know, seems a bit too well placed for me. Oh, how did you survive there, Sam? Could have sworn I fired a LASM there. Uh, do you have any more helicopters? We don't. Okay. So that was all we needed the LASM for, just to take out these uh, ships right there. And I think all we need now are just unguided bombs. So we're going to go ahead and head back to base and grab those. Or try and land a much more light aircraft. But yeah, that's where the battleship Tanager originated from, Ace Combat 4. Namco just uh, project aces decided to just fit Matthias Torres in there. I believe that. That's correct. All right. Ooh, I'm getting a little sloppy with my flying here. That wasn't the best landing, but it's a landing nonetheless. So we, that was just a quick hit and run. Now we'll grab the bombs and we'll start really messing stuff up. Now the one thing that does stink about the Mirage 2000, or as I like to call it, the Mirage 2K, is it has only small and guided bombs, so you kind of have to use a lot of them to, you know, achieve the same destruction effect. We all right. So now with all the ships, because you want to destroy the ships, because or else they'll escape past that line, and you won't be able to destroy them. So you want to make sure you destroy them first, so they can't escape. You grab those points. I was thinking about firing missiles there at a head-on angle. And again, with Invincible Fleet, I like to destroy the ground targets first because they're worth more than go after the air. I find that's generally the best strategy for long missions like this. If you didn't see, we had about 15 minutes on the clock. So. So yeah, these are the shipyards right here. Unguided Bomb should be able to bag all of those right there. Yeah, alright, so we're good. It's like we got a Sam, yep. Just wait. Oh, he didn't, he didn't decide, just decide to tease me with the warning. What is this? 
Severine, Beowulf new. Where's Beowulf Pie, though? Good for Beowulf Pie. Oh, who's shooting at me? Oh, the fighter. I was like, I thought I took out all the Sams around here. Alright, what I love about bombs is they just go right through. They don't even... Oh, whoa, what's that AA gun doing here? Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, the Mirage 2000 does not have the best armor in the world, so we're going to... We're gonna need to use a bomb there. As you see, we got life-size golf balls there. I like to use the bombs to just go right through instead of having to bother like firing a missile through the hole. What's also great about the Mirage 2K is that it's got, like the F5, it's got the dual machine guns. They're not in the nose; they're under um, the nose, but still, more or less achieves the same effect. Now, who is locked on to me? And, you know, something else I guess I should point out is that the unguided bomb's small in Ace Combat 4. You can fire six of them at once, so... But I'm going to run away from these fighter aircraft because I'm flying a French aircraft, so... Seems reasonable. Hopefully that's what they were expecting. We got some missile boats over here, which are some cheeky things that, you know, f actually fire missiles at you. So, basically something else that fires missiles at you that aren't SAMs. I'm just trying to conserve my missiles here. I don't know if this will be able to get those containers. We'll see. Alright. Looks like the blast radius was big enough for that. Now, there is a ship over here. I think it's an Aegis ship. But you have to be careful. Yeah, see that Sam right there. All right. I also think it has an AA gun. So it looks like I destroyed everything except the AA gun, which is not great news, but is news nonetheless. All right, who's locked on to me? Oh, it's that missile boat. Yeah. I forgot that there's two missile boats at this harbor. I want to get rid of him. Just leave everything else to be sitting ducks. And you see, we're already at an A rank where only used up five minutes, although it seems like there's reinforcements here. What do we got here? I got tornado IDSs. Going with the head on? Alright, we got him with the head on. I'm going to fly in cockpit mode for a little bit, just because I'm most comfortable with that, and I have to focus on these dogfights right here. Come to Papa. What? I don't know why... What is going on? Why is it randomly... Uh-oh, I think my PS2 controller is spazzing out a little bit. Okay. All right. Come on, PS2 controller. What are you doing here? I'm just going to pretend... Oh, my God. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on with my PS2 controller. Making sure it's plugged into the port. I think everything's on. Sorry, everyone. Technical difficulties here. It was doing fine. I... I guess we're back to normal now. You know, I guess I'll have to investigate the situation. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and engage those fighters again. Because I'm running low on ammunition. I'm going to have to restock my bombs anyway. So you can see there's a nice band of fighters. Well, there's a nice band of fighters. I believe the ace is north over there, but I'm not going to bother going after him. So, let's see. Alright. F-14. Ooh. I almost had the angle to just nail this guy with guns. So I still do. One missile should take him out. Alright, beautiful. Got 
got a head-on run on this tornado, although he decided to dodge it. That was a weird missile. I wasn't quite sure where its location was, so I got a little bit nervous there. Because, like I said, on Ace Mode, one missile and you're fried. Wish I could order my wingman to cover me. Alright, now I'm gonna, let's get these guys back. Trying to shoot me down here. This one in particular is quite an encouraging fellow. Firing all his missiles. It's like the AI is helping me out. We got a hit on the F-14. This guy is still firing missiles at me, man. He really wants me dead. Now I finally decided to back off. All right. Actually, let's grab this guy first. What we got we got a tornado. All right, that should take care of this guy. Oh, we got another fellow. We have 16 missiles still, so. Looks like the AI actually shot down the other aircraft. Alright, let's go and head back to base, but let's take some other of these fighters. A few of these other fighters over here. Not a bad looking aircraft. In fact, I think the Mirage 2000 is quite a nice aircraft. It's just it was built by the French, you know? So you can never really trust the pilots inside of it. Alright, we got a F-14 is just lollygagging over here. Try and gun him down. Ooh, thank you F-14 for just getting right into position. Much appreciated. I'm going to fire one missile. Yeah, that F-18 looked like he was going for the head-on. That's the other thing, though. The Mirage 2000 is not very stable because of that delta wing design. In fact, I think its stability stat is, like, virtually nothing, so it stalls out quite easily. That's basically what stability means in ace combat. For those who did not know, you learn something new every day. Stability basically refers to, you know, how low your, stall, uh, your speed can get before you stall. Mirage 2000 is not great, but, again, it has a lot other... A lot of other things going for it. Here's our radio failure guy who just used it. One of the things I love about... Oh, we got more aircraft respawning. Alright, we're going to have to ignore these guys. Because we only got seven missiles. Alright, who's this last guy over here? This guy seems like he wants to engage with me. Got another F-14. All right, I think I got a little, a little too trigger happy there, but whoa! All right, let's turn around. Let's resupply. Grab some more bombs. We got four. We'll have about four minutes to bomb those ships, which should be plenty of time. And of course, we still even have the S rank even before we destroyed that whole se uh, section of ships. Man, I'm tripping over my own words here. Praying to God that my controller doesn't spaz out again. Looks like it's gone back to normal here. I have no idea what went on there, but and I apologize for the technical difficulties. The game decided to be nice and just give me a straight path to the uh, runway. So thank you, game. Ah, we're good. We're good. We're good. I see that was a much better landing compared to the first one. We were, we were right on the money there, so. All right. Nicely done, Mobius One. Go and prepare for your next sortie. Let's get back up into the air. And I think I'm still going to uh, keep the young guy to bomb. Simply because I don't think the LASM will do me much good because we're not at the sea, so it could probably run into some cranes and whatnot. Now there is a Sam that will greet me before I join in on the fun. 
yeah, that's why they're... That's what happens when they're anchored. Kind of stuck there. Yeah. Alright, so I believe that's the Sam. Yeah, he's just kind of... He's actually moving through the bridge. What the... Alright, I'm just going to ignore him. That's too much. It's more trouble than it's worth. Alright, so we have our first taste of the Sam. If he's already interested in firing missiles at me, I appreciate your interest, but I am not interested. Oh, we got Colga. We got some more named ships over here. Alright, I apologize. I'm going to go back into cockpit mode just so I can get some precision bombing here. No, I don't. I don't think it is an exercise when all your ships are sinking. But you know, it's the beauty of Ace Combat's radio chatter. All right. So, as uh, Clown says from Ace Combat Seven, it's easy when it's simple. Let me actually find out where that Sam is hiding out. Give him a nice delivery of bombs. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? Give you two. All right. Oh, wait a second. Is that a gray target over there? I think one of the... Yeah, the AA gun survived the bombing run somehow. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but... Oh, I shouldn't have flown over it. Oh, that was close. All right, let's get into some more dogfighting. You guys are going to get to see my horrible dogfighting skills. I will admit I'm much better at, you know, ground targeting. But... Fortunately, the Mirage 2000 is good at dogfighting, so... And the missile lock system in this game is just beautiful, so I th think we'll be okay. Is that a head-on? No, I guessed wrong that time. And his buddy's trying to get on my six. What a good teammate. Uh, he backed off, though, when he realized it was Mobius 1. Alright, another F-18. Gonna try and use my gun. There's that quote again. Ooh, that was a horribly timed missile. Give him one. Yeah, that was all he needed. Man, it just makes you feel amazing when AWACS is calling out all your kills like that. When you just like splash one, splash one. I mean, you are Mobius One. You are a badass. But when he says that, and you just like splash one, splash one, you're just like, shit. I am the shit. Except when he says that, it kind of makes me feel okay. F14, just flying a straight line for me. He just like went on his belly and was just like, "I surrender." Going, going for the head-on. We missed. Who's shooting a missile at me? Was that an F15? No, that was an F14. I thought that was an F15. I was like, "Hmm." All right, this guy's interested in me. That looked like a good angle to shoot those missiles. Yep. All right, mano y mano. This F-14 is very interested in me. All right, we're going to do a nice... Whoa, how did you fire a missile from that position? Ooh, this guy is giving me a run for my money here. We're going to leverage the turning radius of the Mirage 2000 here. All right, buddy, let's see what you got. See what you got, Jester. He's got nothing. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'll be able to bag any more fighters. We got over 7,500 points for Invincible Fleet, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. So. Although I'm going to try and... I don't think I'll be able to get these guys at all, though. And maybe we might be able to get a missile shot in. Missile shot trashed. All right. No, this F-14 is at a weird angle. Yeah. Oh, well. Still, I think that was an excellent performance. As the AWACS from Ace Combat Infinity would say, excellent performance. Now, here's an amazing part of the game that I'll let you guys listen to. Don't want to spoil it at all.
Oh my gosh, it's just euphoric when you hear that. Like it's uh, for those of you who don't know, that's Uzia's national anthem. So ISAF is basically composed of Uzia, except for Irusia, you know, the bad guys. That's their national anthem, which is dope. All right. All right. So that looks like it's going to be all for Mission 6, guys. But thanks for joining. Hope you've been enjoying the series. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you for another great mission on the next episode. Take care, folks.